Hello, art friends. It's your girl, Anusha Sayed here, and we're gonna be doing another sketchbook tour. I know I literally just did a sketchbook tour last week, which if you haven't seen it already, what are you waiting for? So if you guys remember, I'm currently visiting my parents out here in Dallas, and I ended up finding a bunch of my old sketchbooks from when I was in art school, as well as a little bit after. If you guys have been following my work, if you know my work, you know that I am a primarily a digital artist, so I don't really work in my sketchbook, and so I've been wanting to do a sketchbook tour for a while, but you know what? I just don't have anything to show in terms of like current work. But I was like, you know what? I have like a bunch of these old sketchbooks. Why don't I show you guys that? And so if you remember from last week's video, I showed you guys the sketchbook that I did when I was in my last year of art school at Cerulean. And that was probably like the only sketchbook I've ever finished to completion and that I actually put a lot of effort into. Because the sad thing is, and this is a really big problem of mine, is that I have a problem. I have an addiction of buying sketchbooks and drawing in like two pages of them and then <laughs> thinking that I ruined them and just giving up and then buying a new sketchbook. I know it's a really big problem um, and that is why I have so many sketchbooks to share with you today. I decided I'm gonna do like a mega sketchbook tour starting from like 2011, no. Starting from my first year of art school, that would be 2011 up till like 2018. And so that is going to be the stack right here. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight books. Some of them are ones that are like sketchbooks, some of them are watercolor books, but I'm super, super excited to be sharing these because 2011, um, I was right straight out of um, high school, so I would have been like 18, 19 years old. And looking back at my old work, um, I was definitely like a beginner artist, um, and it'll be really interesting to see my progression throughout the years, where I started and kind of where I am at more or less now. And so, yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna try to go from oldest to newest and hope you have a good time. Please try not to laugh at my earlier works because I tried my best, you guys, okay? I tried my best. Okay, uh, yeah, let's look. Let's look at these sketchbooks. So, like I said, oof, that is a lot of books. How many did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books um, and we're gonna try to go in chronological order but I might get the dates mixed up and also sorry about my really <laughs> really gross nails so here we have like a actual moleskin uh, one of the art sketchbooks before I was at Cerulean I did a semester at um, American University of Sharjah I was in like their visual communication program and I just was not really interested in the program it was kind of like a negotiation between my parents and me of like well I want to study art and they were like I don't know if that's a, something that we really think could be a good source of income why don't you do visual communication visual communication was kind of like a graphic design major but a bit more corporate uh, that was kind of like the beginning of this part but here we have actual work when I was 18 at that program. So basically I was there at that school for a semester and I absolutely hated it. And that's uh, when I left and I decided to join Cerulean. So playing around with character design, but really not a big fan of these ones. This one's a little more fun. I actually kind of like this one. She is anguish, but definitely I don't think I would have come up with this character design on my own. I think this, this would have been referenced by some photograph. Hodor, really like Game of Thrones. Some more pencil-y character designs. I really like the red tumbler nose. Um, this I think is still great. I think this is still really great. And again, I, this is definitely Fobs inspired. 
So even though I'm not like a really big fan of my older work, again, I'm still like really pleased to see how much I play around with different mediums and different styles and really just try to experiment. Here's a little study of Pirates of the Caribbeans. Trying hands. Actually, this is kind of cool. So this is like a before and after. So this is me trying to draw a hand and then I do a page of hands and this is um, after I do the page of hands. So practice makes perfect, right? I still can't draw hands though. Still pretty hard. Me trying to figure out anatomy. Um, a body is usually eight heads tall trying to draw feet. Again, it's cool to see that I'm doing studies because I don't really do that anymore either. Oh, who's this? My sister and my cousin. At this point, I think we moved to Switzerland and so that's why I'm drawing uh, people I see out and about. Combination of pencils and ink. Most likely I'm using the either like the snowman drawing pen or the pit Faber Castell. Some Jinkies artwork. Some more Jinkies artwork. And this would be the Pentel brush pen. <laughs> Little face, I gave up. This one's really cute. I think like at this point I'm starting to, cause you can kind of see that like I'm gearing more towards realism in the past and then slowly but surely I'm leaning more towards cartooning. This definitely is uh, me reusing the sketchbook later because this is this is this came out of nowhere, right? This feels more like artwork from my big sketchbook that I showed you guys earlier. And yeah, right when I was in my first semester at Cerulean, um and it says des personnages because I don't think I mentioned this, uh, Cerulean was like an entirely French speaking school, uh, taught entirely in French, and so this was for my character design class, which is why it's des personnages. But yeah, let's start off with doing a little bit of character design. Um, I still think this is kind of cute. Um, I mean, well, <laughs> I was definitely like really into a lot of pencil work and doing so much detail, just like detail upon detail. Um, really trying my best in terms of character design and trying to veer away from same face syndrome, but definitely um, I don't think these are like the most anatomically correct. Like I would definitely make some changes with these. Um, I do still definitely like the profile that I've got going on over here. Um, these are definitely much looser sketches. Um, I think here I was trying to play around with um, more action movement. Still cannot for the life of me figure out how to draw someone running. This, um, I really love the movie Sweeney Todd and especially the, there's like this one musical segment which is the By the Sea song. I absolutely love that segment, I absolutely love that song. And so just a little fan art of that scene. I um, really liked doing costume design and so I think this was partly inspired by maybe a museum that we went to, I cannot remember. This was I think definitely inspired by something that I, some piece of artwork that I saw on Tumblr. Um, I think it might have been a lowish illustration. I'll try to put it up if I can remember what it was, but it was basically taking shapes and drawing people enclosed inside of them. I uh, don't think I did a great job though. Um, yeah, a lot of pencil work here. I really like doing cross patching, I guess. Sitting on the phone. Uh, this one was some character design, uh, trying to convert a, f being inspired by a flower, so a daffodil over here. 
lots of mermaids. I was definitely into a mermaid phase when I was in college. So, I mean, like for the most part, we have like a lot of pencil sketches and um, some ink things here and there. I really love mid-century modern and I still do. I don't really know what to say about these types of sketches, but I do like that um, when I was 18 year old, I was definitely trying out and exploring different types of styles, different types of mediums. Um, I think this might have been one of those, uh, do like a scribble and try to create a drawing out of a scribble. I think this might have been one of those. I do kind of like this little pirate guy over here. A little scene of two people enjoying a drink together. Looking at these drawings, I feel like they're slightly inspired by um, Fobs. I think that's what their name was on DeviantArt. That kind of style, I think that's definitely what it was because I remember Fobs using a lot of pencil in their artwork. And so I, was, I think I was inspired by, by their art. Smaller eyes, smaller pupils, which is really interesting because I don't really do that anymore. Uh, yeah, so it's really cool seeing me play around with different mediums because I don't really do that anymore. Uh, having like a gradient of paint and then drawing on top of it. Playing around with negative space over here. Some more negative space. On to the next one. So I think this might be from my second year of uh, at Ceruleum and this is a watercolor sketchbook. I have no idea what bougon means. I have no idea. If it means something in French, I forgot what it was, but it doesn't matter now. So there was a small stage in my second year of university where I got really into watercolors. Actually, my life drawing class, I started using watercolors for that and they were really good actually, um, but I cannot show those to you uh, because I have no idea where those drawings are. But yeah, we are leaning towards some watercolors here, some mermaids so many i went through like a serious mermaid phase because i was just drawing them all the time and this was before mermaid became a thing i originated it you guys i was the blueprint all i did was draw mermaids and a girl and i can critique this one for days neck is too wavy arms don't make sense torso <laughs> doesn't make sense uh, it's okay, Nusha, you'll learn, you'll learn. And then somehow, I think this might be, I can't remember if there were streetcars in Lausanne, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Um, still life of sorts, little glow in the dark uh, turtle. Oh, these are my girls. Okay, so this was everyone who was in my illustration program. We got Carol, we got Demi, we got Kat, we got Malizia. The whole gang is here. Crazy. I've, I've told you guys before, my graduating class was 10 people. It was tight, it was so much fun. <laughs> I don't know where this came from. I have never in my life worked with gouache paints. I think this was definitely an assignment for class. Don't know why I did it in my sketchbook, but there you go. Um, I think at one point we went to the zoo um, for one of our field trips. And so we've got some life drawing of some peacocks. We got some animals up in here. And I've always been really bad at um, drawing on the spot, but I think these are not too bad. Some more peacocks, especially like an animal at the zoo, they really be running around. You cannot make them stand still for you for a second. I quite like this though. It's a nice simplification. And then we got some kind of a marsupial here. Um, <laughs> we got a horse. For the life of me, I don't know how to draw a horse. This is, this is the best I'll ever get. The legs, she wavy. She's really wavy. And she's got bull cat. We got some Mises. We got some rabbits. Some llamas. Some goats. I've never been 
been that good at drawing animals. I've been more of, I'm more of a people person, but not really. I'm not like a people person in terms of personality. I don't really like talking to people. Um, I'm a shy girl, but I definitely love drawing them. This is actually really nice. <laughs> Little monkeys. It's really funny. And some birds. And then I think the assignment was, was that like you had to create some character designs based off of the animals you saw. So we got some angry looking bear here. I'm mad, man. My character design assignments were really fun. Um, here we have like a little baby bear and like a big grumpy bear. I'm trying to make him smile. I'm just trying to make him laugh. That's actually really cute. Good job, old Anusha. She's, she's a real pretty bird right there. Um, <laughs> drawing some llamas, and I think these are definitely Animal Crossing inspired. I forget what their names are in the game. Um, got a parrot. Little ballerina. Little Tumblr-esque star-eyed girl. Oh wow, this is quite nice. Good job, Anusha. Uh, I don't really work with watercolors anymore, but this is quite nice. Good job. Is it weird when you look at your old art and you don't even recognize it anymore? That like you can't believe that you, your hands did that? There are a couple of pieces, cause like a lot of the artwork that I made in high school, my parents ended up framing and they're just like around the house. And then I saw this one piece and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool, who did that? And my mom was like, Anusha, you did. And I'm like, wait, what? I have absolutely no memory of that. Oh, this is in Lausanne, this is Ushi, the uh, harbor area. And I really miss it. Um, I really hope that I can go back to Switzerland again, once things start to open up because I really miss going there. She, these are quite cute little girl character designs. And I think that might be it. Yeah. Okay, here is another sketchbook that I think I did quite a bit in. And this would have been, I think my first semester in my third year or maybe second semester, second year. Um, a child drew in this. I don't know who, what this is, but Oh, this? Okay, yes, I remember. This would be second year. And so we had like an assignment where you had to basically study an artist who you really liked and create an illustration based off of it. And so this was based off of, I don't know if you can, you probably can tell. It's um, Genevieve Godbout. Uh, she is, I believe she's a Montreal based illustrator. She's Canadian French. Uh, Rosa Petit Bois is her handle. Um, she does a lot of color pencil artwork and I think pastels as well. And her work is beautiful. And so this was kind of like a, a study of her art. Um, more color pencil artwork. Um, gotta figure out like which color pencils I use here because the pigment is really good. Some more studies of Genevieve Godbout's artwork. So this was an assignment where we basically had to create a fake plant and create like a scientific illustration out of it. And so I decided that I was going to make like a bird cage plant. And so it was basically inspired by bluebells and then like the, the uh, shoot, the flower would eventually grow into like this little cage. And then the seed is the little bird that lives inside of it. Uh, I thought that was quite creative actually. And I was playing around with like how that little cage could look like. Um, some more concepts of what those bluebell bird cages would be. A little, I think that's an Elsa, I'm not sure. Some kind of a giveaway over here, I don't know for what. Uh, <laughs> I like this, this is kind of cool. A lot, of, a lot of curly hair, curly hair. Um, definitely lots of inking, lots of details. I was in that phase where like, I wanted to try to put in as much detail as possible. This is an illustration that I really still like and I'll put up, I'm pretty sure like for all of these, I did a digital version as well, which I'll put up when it comes out, when 
I edited the video. Uh, this was like a Rapunzel. I think this is quite cute. Just a girl. That's me. That's quite cute, actually. That is quite cute. Remember when these glasses were in? They had like all of like the flowers around them. Those were really cute. More cute girls. Another Rapunzel, but I don't think I colored this one in. Uh, Kill la Kill, really like that anime. Uh, you'll start to see this color combination a lot where I'm working with the Pentel brush pen plus purple and pink. Sailor Moon, the neck is too long, girl. Uh, I really like the movie Moonrise Kingdom. Lots of cute girls. You want cute girls? Don't worry about it. I got you. Another attempt at Sailor Moon. Isn't it interesting seeing the style change? Definitely in my second year of school, I was definitely leaning on the combination of the Pentel brush pen plus a lot of like these pastel hues with the touch pens. And a lot of the star eyes. 1K followers, geez, this was this, uh, yeah, I definitely started my Instagram a little later than everyone else. So yeah, 1K followers, thank you so much. I think this is still quite cute. Also, this was back when growing a following on Instagram was a lot easier. I remember in, <laughs> I think my sister drew this. Um, growing a following on Instagram, yeah, definitely was a lot easier because like I, within a year, I got like 30,000 followers just from, yeah, a lot of regular posting. And back then we had like the chronological timeline. We had like, you could easily share things, tags worked and now, Matt, I've been, I mean like, obviously I'm really happy that I have like a large following and everything, but I have been pretty much stuck on the same number for the past three years now. There's just no going up, there's no moving around, just Instagram is another one of my sister's drawings. Um, Instagram is dead. Um, I really applaud anyone who's able to build a following on Instagram these days from scratch because huh, I don't know what to do. These are actually really cute. I'm actually really, really happy with the style um, that I was into the, at that time. And again, you can see that like I'm moving away from realism and really starting to find my own style. A lot of flowers. It's honestly, I'm a little bit jealous looking at this old work. Um, kind of wish I still had the same creativity and love of just wanting to draw for the sake of drawing. I think I pretty much finished this to completion as well. This one and then like the one that you saw earlier. Only sketchbooks I've ever actually <laughs> put a lot of emphasis into. It's me, it's a page full of me's. I do love drawing myself. And this was back when I had my messy bun. I still have my big eyes though. I really like this one. 
Got some Elsa's, another me. Some Anna, lots of Anna's actually. I don't know who's doing math in here. Someone's stealing my sketchbook. Ninja Turtles. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I think I might have let one of my cousins draw in my sketchbook. Yep, that's Sabrina. That was my little cousin, Sabrina. Things I do for kids. If they want to draw in my sketchbook, so be it. I think, you know, honestly, these are quite nice. These are quite nice. I think we're pretty much at the end of like my actual work. It might just be all of my cousin's work at this point. Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. Some Alice in Wonderland studies. Quite nice, I love Anne Hathaway. She's a pretty lady. Yep, that's it. <laughs> These are great. Okay. Here we have a Borden and Riley. Paris paper, Paris paper for pens, a smooth bleed proof all purpose paper, ideal for use with pens and markers. Never heard of this brand before, but I don't think I really drew in this because I decided that I did not like the quality of the paper. Um, but yeah, here, we're, I think it's mostly designed for pens, which is why that's mostly where you're gonna see. Um, this is kind of cute though. I do like the combination of using a brush pen with like a marker underneath. That's quite nice. I don't like this. Her forehead's way too big. You gotta bring that hairline down, girl. Maybe it's a wig though, who knows? Who knows? Is that it? No, no, this still got a little bit, Never mind. I did draw a little bit more in this one. Um, started drawing a Rapunzel. Don't know if you can really see that. Um, another Rapunzel. This one's quite cute, but <laughs> I think it's really funny because like I started off with the head and you can clearly tell that like I was like okay big head and then oh I'm starting to run out of room oh no let's just kind of just like end it over here that should be fine here we have Mulan I think this is quite cute good job Anusha good job little bear holding turtles actually you know what I think this might have been like a prompt thing that I did for Instagram one time just asking people tell me what to draw I got contacted by I think it was Pentel, some pen company. Uh, they gave me a bunch of pens to try out and this is what I did with those pens and it was a giveaway and everyone could win these, which was quite nice. Oh, it was jet pens, there you go. Cute little girl, cute little toddler. You know what, I really like this. This is another case of like, maybe the head is too big. I do have a problem with drawing two big heads. But something about the line work, I still really like this. Is there anything else? I think I gave up. I think I gave up. I tried to <laughs> decorate the sketchbook and I used white out, but like it all came off, which is quite a shame. It looks quite ugly now. So you can see like a huge jump between this book and the previous one. I'm definitely starting to figure out character design a little bit more. Here I'm playing around with the brush pens and you can see my style has changed a lot. I'm definitely loving the Pentel brush pen and playing around with thick and thin lines. Couple of cafe sketches. Here, I don't know if you can see that well because it is a little bit light, but I am trying to figure out a, a way to do like a signature for my artwork. And this is when I've started using like the smiley face for my two O's in my name. This was for a assignment for one of my illustration classes. This was the Le Nuit des Contes, um, like a storytelling festival in the city. And so creating a poster for it. And I believe I ended up choosing this design for my final piece. I did a couple more. I actually quite like these ones as well. I might try to redraw them. We shall see. And I also like this note. Family of cats? Why cats? Well, why not? A little drawing of myself. I'm definitely going for a more chibi style over here and really leaning towards 
the Mary Blair aspect. And this was also like the phase when I would wear Peter Pan collars just constantly. Here I'm mixing Pentel with those touch markers I mentioned previously. Um, and this is kind of like the phase where I've started using the uh, kind of like the blank colored eye look. Uh, some more poster designs. Uh, this looks a little bit familiar. This, I don't know, again, I don't know if you can see it that well, but here's some character design for that Cinderella concept from my last video. Um, as well as some cactus. So then this is definitely third year now, because if this is matching up with my big sketchbook, I think that's, that might be what it is. So yeah, some cactus designs, some lemurs. Actually, these are really cute. I'm actually quite like these. I really like the style over here. This lemur is quite cute. Here the style is changing a little bit and like now I'm gearing more towards like much thinner pen lines, playing with some animals. And before I did my uh, thesis project with Chip and the Rainy Day, I had like another concept for a picture book project for my thesis project. And this was about gonna be about like five kids who are in a tree house and going off on adventures. And this was like my initial character design concepts for them. A couple more little sketches. Here's one of like <laughs> uh, me when I go out and me at home. And I am a Hufflepuff, don't you know? A couple of character designs, and it looks like this was when I was at the Bologna Children's Book Fair at 31st of April, 2015, that's crazy. A lot of cool people around. A little bit of Steven Universe fan art of my favorite bird mom. Um, some more sketches out and about in Bologna, some people from my class. And these are my two classmates uh, who are also in my illustration program. Little ink drawing and that's it for this one. This is a Strathmore mixed media <laughs> sketchbook. And so this was probably gonna be for ink drawings. And so here you can see my style has changed even further. Doing some Rapunzel fan art here. It's a cute little girl. An angry cat. Really like listening to Adventure Zone, so it's Angus McDonald, the world's greatest detective. She really liked this one still. Actually, you know what? I really like the Pentel brush pen. I just try using it more often. This was when I was in Vancouver for Rancaf in 2013, I think. And so I was with some of my friends. We went for a cafe drawing in Granville Public Market. That's the three of us. That's me, that's Chu, that's Mishi. That's them again, again at Granville with Mishi and Chu. little cafe sketch at the Matchstick Cafe. That was really cute actually. Um, and this is around the time when I started using yellow a lot in my work. If you've seen some of my comics, you will probably see that I usually do like the black, white, and yellow as like my main color combinations. Another drawing of us at the cafe. Another drawing of the three of us. Man, those two, they've got like really awesome style, so I really love drawing them. And then this is Jess and Brie. Uh, I'll link their art below because they're really, really talented. I love both of their work, and this is at La Churreria. I actually completely forgot about this. This was a really fun time. Man, I really miss conventions. I miss seeing my friends, especially my international friends cute artwork and I quite like this uh, this rendition of my signature and this would be at the flight back home <laughs> with my <laughs> with my sweatpants and my little bun this if you guys remember my old podcast um, 
the art corner with Vicky Sai. And so originally I was thinking, I was leaning more towards the name Crayon Collective. And so this was doing a couple of um, uh, logo designs for it. And I quite like these actually. Oh, I also came up with the, with the name Paint Pals. Uh, art, the art corner is still really cute, but Crayon Collective, that would have been really nice. I'm trademarking it guys, don't steal. Maybe I'll come up with something for it later. Some boy designs, and I still don't know how to draw boys and And I think that's it. That's it for this one. This would be 2016, 2017. So I would be at my first job in Toronto, uh, kind of like almost right after graduating from college. Um, and I was working at Industrial Brothers at my first full-time job as a character designer on the show Dot. This would be for hourly comic day, I think. So this, what should I wear to work? I need to look mature and professional. I got my baby bunny blouse. I got my Snoopy sweater. Got a Totoro pin cardigan and a bow dress. I am an adult. Well, the funny thing is I don't dress like this anymore. Um, I definitely had like a very kid core style back then, but not so much these days because I'm old. I'm old and boring now. Uh, this is a cute comic as well. Dang, I'm gonna look so good. I hope I don't mess up like usual. Blink. Can't believe I swore in there. That was feisty. Me on my way to work. I would take the GO train all the way to Toronto because I lived in Mississauga and it was a one and a half hour commute. I love working in animation. I get to draw all day. And I slowly, slowly, I never want to draw again. And it's true. That's how I feel about art now. I don't quite like this. Looking at people on the train home. A little study of a photo, Kiki Chang for Cosmopolitan China. Attempt at drawing Beyonce. I tried, Beyonce, please don't get mad. Trying to get back into Pentel. Cute girl. Oh, I saw like a like a cute dad and like his daughter just getting off of the train and he was in like his business suit and he's holding her little backpack. I thought it was really cute. Is that it? Wow, I, I gave up on this one really quickly. Oh well. So we are finally at our last one now. And so this one, cause like after this book, I think I, I left my job and then I was pretty much like full-time freelance and became pretty much like a digital artist. And so since then I haven't really drawn in sketchbooks. And so this is gonna be the last one. And this is the watercolor sketchbook that I took with me when I went to Iceland. So in 2018, I was part of the Light Gray Art Labs annual residency that they do. It's a really awesome, awesome program. I'm so happy that I went. And so, yeah, just gonna share a couple of pages of that. So that's me all ready to hike. I did a lot of studies while I was there because Iceland is just such a beautiful, beautiful country. This is the Bride Veil, vale, the Bridal Veil. Vale. And so this was a, uh, this was a waterfall. It was really beautiful. That was kind of nearby to where we were staying at. Um, Jenny, who was our guide, that's a little drawing of her. She kind of explained all of the ice, Icelandic terms that we should know. Uh, like a foss is a waterfall, a vik is a city, fjordir is a city on a fjord. I hadn't illustrated in um, watercolor in quite a while and so I was really nervous about picking it up again but I was actually quite happy with the work that I did while I was on my Iceland trip. Um, it did feel really nice. A lot of these pieces I did while like on the spot you know like while we were watching 
um, the scenery and everything. We would go, we would drive out on the bus every morning and then go to a beautiful spot. And then for about like an hour, we'd all sit and paint. And it was a really, really good time. I'm super happy with how this one turned out. This is the Bjar, <laughs> Bjar Narfoss, uh, another one of the waterfalls in the area. Um, this was really fun. A lot of people were a lot more adventurous than I was and would just like climb up all of the hills. I'm a baby, I'm scared of heights, so I kind of stayed down on the bottom. Um, I prepared a page but did not use it. And I feel like the main problem was, was I was too scared to go up on a lot of the mountains. And so I did a lot of studies, uh, playing around with texture, playing around with like splatter and colors and really trying to recreate the look of the unique rocks as best as I could. And I think that's pretty much it. So that was a pretty extensive look into all of my sketchbooks from 2011 to 2018. And you can really see how much my style has changed. Like literally from, from like a page like this all the way up to a page like, I don't know, like this. And this is not even my style these days. Uh, eventually, I will, <laughs> I will start drawing in my sketchbook again. But you know what, I actually do have here you go. This is the sketchbook that I was gifted by Bitter Melon Bindery. And so this is my most recent sketchbook stuff. So I've got like a page over here and a page over here. So this is, if you want to compare, you know, um, this is my work seven years ago, seven years ago, and this is my work now. This is how I draw in my sketchbooks and it's really cool seeing the progression and I hope it was interesting for you guys and who knows maybe in a year I will show you in another another sketchbook tour but yeah I hope this was fun and if you have any suggestions for other videos please let me know if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next week okay bye